Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name's Ashley and I'm a soul scientist on this channel. I like to take that science and apply it to all things plants. And in today's video, we're talking about seed starting. Uh, not really talking about it, it's kind of like a plant with me video this time around. I'm planting for zone three in Saskatchewan. Uh, we are approximately forever days away from spring, but between now and about mid-February is a great time for people in zone three, zone four, zone five, pretty much all the zones to start on those 120-ish day to harvest plants if you have them or things that take a longer period of time to germinate in general. So I'm going to be planting leeks, celery, Brussels sprouts, cayenne peppers, Mad Hatters and onions. And by Mad Hatters and Kanye or Kanye, uh, cayenne peppers, those I'm gonna be putting in like separate basket from these because these are gonna be like in a colder, cooler environment than these. These guys do need a little bit of heat to get going and I'm actually gonna put them in the Instapot, pre-film that and then film when I go to take them out of the Instapot what everything looks like, so. Any hoosers, let's get down to it. So if you haven't watched the videos before this, I do doing three quarters of a tray of coconut coir because the peat moss I got was junk. It's a Miracle Grow brand, literal junk, and I'm just doing that much with Miracle Grow. So fingers crossed coconut coir is a good one to start with, hopefully. Fingers crossed, like I said. But any hoosers, I thought we would sit and chat while you guys watch what I do here. I'm trying to film shorter videos because that's what the algorithm wants. But to be totally honest with you, kind of difficult for me to do, especially with the type of content that I'm aiming for. That hole was not full, which is like more so educational and stuff. But I don't know, it seems like the videos that are like five minutes, I do like go far and wide and I attract quite the the group, but the longer videos I get just my regular, like my regulars, you know, in it, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I've got, I knew this was gonna happen with this coconut choir. Okay, so you guys, if you get the coconut choir, and I said to watch for this, and then I clearly did not take the time to go through this properly. You really gotta make sure this is packed in properly. There's gonna be a lot of air pockets in any sort of, yeah, let's see, any sort of coconut coir based medium, yeah, there's a high risk of air pockets, which is not gonna be a good thing. It's not to your benefit. There's a reason why there's no perlite in uh, seed starting mixes made out of peat, right? So I don't really measure depth if I'm being totally honest. I just kind of, stick my finger in gently, make a little hole, and then I'll top with vermiculite more so than potting soil. I find potting soil to be a little bit too heavy, can hamper the rates of germination. Um, I also find with vermiculite that it is like kind of a preventative for fungal growth. Not that the white fungus is bad, like the white fungus isn't the end of the world. It just is an indication of potentially over moist soils. So I guess, what is it called? What's the saying? You guys don't know what the saying is. The saying where they say um, the sign, the sign for Armageddon. White fungus isn't a bad thing. White fungus is just a sign of overly moist soil that's decomposing, which can result in other bacterial issues that eventually will lead to dampening off. So white fungus isn't the cause of your dampening off per se. It's other fungal bacterial growths within your soil that cause the dampening off process. If that makes any sense? Comment down below if that makes sense. Another thing I will say, especially since this is becoming like more and more mainstream, try to avoid, um, don't put like mycorrhizal fungi or plant food. I'm doing a video on that. You guys are gonna cause my red hair to go gray. I gotta do a video on plant food. I keep on getting asked questions about the bla best plant food. And no, not fertilizer, food. You guys are talking about literal food. And you had me so caught off guard with some of these products. 
I was like, you actually, are you serious right now? Anyways, I'm gonna do a video on that. Do not add that to this. So things like Super Fly, Marifil, um, Junk Liquid, Dirt, Bios, do not put that in your seeds or any mix. You will kill your freaking flowers or your plants just in general. You will kill them. I'm not lying to you. I won't lie to you. You will kill your down plants. Just don't do it. Bad choice. So when I do these cells, I do like two or three leaks. This is leaks in here right now. Two or three per cell. And then I will go on a murderous rampage and eliminate the outside ones. I'm gonna do two rows there. Cover those up. And then I'm going to do two here. Who else out there thinks they did a good job on their like packing in their seed cells, but then they go to like actually go do it and you're like, oh, I didn't pack that in at all. Me, that's me. So we'll do some leaky leaks. I don't know, I think some of these are gonna go to the gar or to the farm to be honest. They won't be here in the city. We'll see. Things like not so much leaks, but onions do you like that darker um colder environment darker colder environment okay so i'm gonna just fill this in this vermiculite does help to keep some of that moldy residue off too and then you miss that that's what you do with that stuff you don't water it you missed it or like shake or bottle it lightly drip on it type thing so I'm gonna do small little divots here. I got these awesome onions from West Coast Seeds. Actually, has anyone ordered from Baker's Creek in Canada? And if so, what's up with their shipping? Do they ship their shit on time? Because I've been waiting for stealth seeds from them for like three weeks. And I was gonna recommend them because everyone's like, oh, they're so awesome. But now I'm kind of like, Taking their time. These guys are fast though. So I'm gonna try this onion. This is the Calaisier. I put the, did a blog post on these guys and I did just a blog post on onions growing in Canada in general. It's so funny how these look identical to leek seeds. But anyway, so I want to grow these guys. Apparently they are not only humum, humum, humongous, humongous, new word um not only are they humongous but they're sweet onions so they're tasty and they're used for cooking and all the other craziness of the world and my family is onion city we like our onions so i'm excited to try these out um this is one of my first years doing onions from seed for the first time in a long time uh We'll see if I have the patience for this. I'm not sure I will, but supposedly the seeds method yields larger onions in general. So I guess we're about to find out. I did pre-sterilize this all, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out that video. I basically talked about just getting rid of all the, the stuff that can cause any sort of harm to your babies, your baby plants, fungus, mold, all that fun stuff. Top liberally with some vermiculite. I'm right out. Where's my vermiculite? Where's my vermiculite? But it's a nice light formula. Yeah, it's nice, um, nice and light. It holds a decent amount of moisture. It lets uh, light penetrate through it. What is coming out? Oh, there's a pot in there. I was like, why? What's why the laws of physics evading me right now? They're not. Oh God. You know, sometimes I wonder why my house is always a mess. And then I realize why my house is always a mess. Cause I'm in control of it. That's why. Okay. You guys have to remind me if you see this video, 
Someone comment down below. Make sure you filled in your planner. <laughs> I forgot. That's what's up. So some of the funny questions I've been getting over on uh, DMs, like on Instagram and stuff, I've gotten questions asking if my hair color is real. My hair color is, oh, I didn't mean to kick it. My hair color is very real. I was born this way. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I was born with even more red hair. It was closer to that of a fire truck engine. And then it turned into more of a mahogany over time. So fun fact about me. Uh, yes, this is me in all my glory. I'm not special. Um, I hated my red hair for a huge majority of my life, even in college. And I don't know if it's because I grew up with the generation that uh, was super anti redhead. We had like kick a ginger day and stuff. I don't know if there's any gingers out there that remember that, but I was part of the kick a ginger generation. So no one really liked us. I don't think anyone's ever really liked redheads to be honest. So I really didn't like my hair, but I'm not gonna lie. Ever since I started doing YouTube or something's changed, I don't know what has changed, but redhead is like, that's the thing to be now which is so funny because of the torment I went through in my earlier years. It's actually kind of funny because it made me quite a tough lady in my older years. And actually, I think the, the my toughness came down to more so, um, like when I get like nasty comments on YouTube, for example, I don't really, like I'm not very phased by them. I kind of like, I'm like, okay whatever because i was so tormented as a child <laughs> that like insults are kind of like okay like that's not new to me i, I got called that all the time when i was little plus i'm left-handed that's why i'm using my left hand right now i'm left-handed so it's just like a double freaking whammy not good so that celery seed that's a lot actually quite a bit Hundred days. Did you know that? What's another question I've got? Oh, um, t kitchen top composters. So I got a kitchen top composter, and or sorry, I got a DM about a kitchen top composter, and I was asked like whether or not it works, what's in it, all that sort of stuff. And I've been like trying to look into them. They're the ones that have like the heating pressure it looks almost like a pressure cooker to be totally honest with you um scenario going on and so i i looked into them i emailed the companies asking for more info so anyways i emailed these companies to ask where everything was at like how they work and if they could provide some information for me all that fun stuff and they basically all just ignored me they don't want to tell me how it is works or what's in it or how it's made so that's kind of depressing. If any of you guys have those kitchen top heater composter things, like the, um, it's one made by Ninja, I believe, Ninja Foods, like, yes, like the Ninja Blender, that company. It's 500 bucks, I think. If you have one, DM me. I need info, so I'm gonna do a video on it, but yeah, ultimately. Okay, these are done. This is what I'm starting. I'm gonna put the clear top on. I'm going to leave these four styles open for whatever else I want to put in there at a later date. Maybe start some more, do like a second wave of onions or something in the next one. But yeah, that's literally all I'm going to do for 120 days. Um, I could do loofahs and stuff. I don't even know where my loofah seeds are right now. Well, yeah, they're in the kitchen. I could do some loofahs too, I guess, but these these cells are too small, so I need to do them in a larger size cell. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what video you want to see next. Hit that subscribe button, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.